Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. This is my favorite part of my vegetable garden every year. It's the trellis I use to grow my pole beans on. I've used four different arbors to span the length of this raised bed and they grow up and over a pathway so that during the summer as the vines grow up, I get to stand in the shade on the hottest days while I'm out here picking beans. So today is an exciting day because I'm going to plant the beans and I'm going to show you how to do it so that you have the best success. The first thing I wanted to show you was my pole bean seedlings. I started them indoors and you're probably wondering why I go to all that trouble. Well, there's actually two really good reasons. For one thing, we have a lot of birds in our garden. You can probably hear them as I'm speaking. And they love to nibble on freshly sprouted seed. This way, when I start them indoors, I get them off to a good start to the point where they can fend for themselves and not get nibbled on. The second reason is when you start plants indoors, the conditions are so controlled that you tend to get just about 100% germination. So you're really getting your money's worth with your seeds. So one thing I wanted to point out is that I have used a deep root insert. These are great for large seeded vegetable crops because it gives them room for their roots. The other thing I did was I watered these well last night because it just gets them off to a little better start. You know, it can be stressful to plant seedlings and so I want them to be as unstressed as possible. As soon as I plant them, I'm going to be watering them again. And you know, the other thing is I've got this perfect overcast day ideal for planting and also it's due to rain tonight so I think that will really get these seedlings off to a good start. To plant each seedling I'm using a slot screwdriver and carefully lifting each seedling out of its individual cell. I don't want to grab it or yank it out of each cell with my fingers because that would actually damage the plant and possibly even kill it, which would be awful. So now that I have my seedling, and look at what a nice root system it has, I'm using this nifty tool called a dibble or a dibbler, and that is to punch the holes in, which I'm putting about three inches apart because the plants are going to grow up, not out. Once I put them in their hole, I'm going to tamp the soil around the roots to make sure there are no air pockets. Okay, I have all of the beans planted in this bed. Before I start on this bed, I want to water these ones in carefully. That will be a way to make sure that the soil really is in contact with the roots. And I also want to make sure that they stay unstressed. And the best way to do that is to give them some water right after being planted. Okay, I got the rest of the beans planted and they're looking pretty good so far. I'm just getting ready to water them in. This is an Italian snap variety of pole bean. I've grown them for years. I love them. They're very reliable, very productive. This other one is purple pod. I've never grown it before, but I thought it would be so pretty in the garden and for cooking. So I'll give you some photos every now and then, some updates and let you know how they're doing. Happy gardening. Mm -hmm.